You smell that? That's what redemption feels like. We redeemed ourselves last week by proving that stall can work without just Godfell fishing for wins. And now, Morgan, what are we going to do after that? Immediately go back to Fishing for Wins with Gothitelle. Hello, I am Shadow the Late, and welcome back to the Owl Fight Club. Week 5. Now, we are fighting the Crimfinity, and he's Rockets Revenge. What are they packing for us today? Ah, a, cash, a great thing with some threats that are bulkier than ours. And offensive threats that are more offensive than... Oh, dear. As you can see, very powerful squad to be dealing with today. So I brought the heat to take them down. Very powerful threats. First things first. I like what Oleos is doing, so I brought it back with a physically defensive variant. Meant builds to take on things like the Landorus, Mega Gyarados without specific coverage moves, which I don't think it will be bringing, and in an emergency, late game Regilecki. Although I probably won't be doing that. Plus the Rocky Helmet, mainly just to screw over with Landorus and potential Mew variants, so again, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Next up, the standard Urshifu. It comes in really hard, it kills Mew unless it has the Cobra Berry, and it can take a, Daz a Rogue Dazzling with its Roselli Berry. Other than that, not much really wants to switch into it. And if we get into a proper position, which it could realistically happen, Polka Urshifu just going to win. I do want to put in Sucker Punch, but that alchemy scares me. Next up, Quagsire is coming in. Its main thing is our Panic Button, Sword Stance Landorus, some variants of Nasty Plot Mew, Nasty Plot Porygon 2, Power Whipless Mega Gyarados, maybe Coil Milotic, probably not going to come, Sword Stance Cabalion, Moltres and Regieleki in a pinch, and Call my out for me. This is our panic button, and it's also why we chose to give it the all-important leftovers. Because leftovers are important here. Next up, the heat of the week, in my opinion. The Zera Aura with the specs. The specs Zera Aura. Imagine this. We he's in on we, he Mega Bob's in, he Mega Bob's Gyarados. We bring in Zera Aura. He's gonna think, oh shit, let me go to Landorus. Boom! We smack him with a fast out. He will never see this coming, probably, unless we're predictable. Or he wants to go into B2 maybe to take the bro kit. Na 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 We got the Focus Blast and the Toxic on the Choice Set. To play a long- if we want to play a longer game, which we're playing a stall team, we're going to play a longer game. Next up, the Matchup Fisher. <laughs> I was like, this thing considered mostly on Teleportless Porygon 2, Hazeless Milotic, most tank with variants. Very rarely some Cabalion variants, though realistically that's not going to happen. Some Moltres variants and some Alchemy variants. It's the Cobra Berry in case we need another emergency check to Mega Gyarados, because frankly, that thing scares me. And other than that, pretty standard stuff. I almost gave this thing the leftovers, but I think Quagsire's bulk is more necessary in this case. And finally, our main source of pressure, the Toxic Spikes. He has no method of, he has no point types, so we, he can't exactly get rid of them. Rapid Spin is obviously going to be a very useful tool. Explosion will be a nice pivot. And Ice Beam, in case he gets bought in the Landers lead, which he could do. Don't think he keeps Landers in against the Cloyster lead, because obviously, you gotta respect the Shell Smash. If you don't, you just lose. How am I feeling about our squad this week? I don't know. But before we get into a battle, I've made an executive decision. I've looking over our previous matches, looking at our upcoming matches, and unfortunately, the Heligo just ain't, it ain't pulling its weight. So, the Heligo's off the team, and in its place, I've brought on a true veteran of Pokemon. Someone who I believe is the key to solving our special attacking deficit. I mean, we literally bought Spex Zero Aura. You think we, we are desperate for special attacking power that doesn't get walled by many threats? We're bringing on the Alkazam, baby. Alkazam will be joining the team after this week. And honestly, I wish I thought of this trade earlier because... Look at look at Nasty Plot Zam and look at his team. How does he beat it? The answer? He doesn't. But that's fine. We have other ways to win. Like these. And I look forward to it and Alkazam joining the team in future weeks. See you guys in the battle. Welp, looks like we are back with the battle, and I see some interesting developments here. The Porygon 2, I'm happy to see. No, I I get why it just dies to Urshifu. My Lodic's there, I'm happy to see a Milotic here. 
No Moltres and no Regilecki and no Alchemy. So I could have brought Sucker Punch, dang it. Oh well, it's fine. I think this I think the lead is gonna be a box down Landorus lead, so I'm just gonna do that. And one thing I forgot to mention, the pollen ha! Eldegoss is here. It can bob tank with for a healthy 50%. Eldegoss lead a Cabalion. Alright, that's fine. We we have prepared for this. Hmm. So here's the situation I'm in. I kind of want to, I could find the Pollen Puff now to scare this thing out, but on the other hand, do I want to reveal it so early when it could come in handy later? I'm 90% sure this thing's gonna switch out. I think it switches out here. No, my Rocky Helmet! I'm gonna Pollen Puff here. He's trying to sword dance on me?! Bro, bro, okay. This is this is a bad thing now. OU 252. I'll have to assume Adamant, because knockoff did around 17. Okay, no, he has to be. He must be bold. No, not up not bold. Uh <laughs> Defense minus special defense minus special attack. Wait, do I have the wrong Eldegoss set? Huh, guess I have the wrong set pulled up. Okay, this is Impish. So Impish plus two. Please, I wonder why I have that. We can take this thing. We can take a hit. I have to pull up a fear. And he knocked up in... Tangle's down to four! Okay, not how I expect this to go, but hey, I will gladly give a chance so Elias to prove himself. Although that was just a free opportunity for Gyarados to come in. I don't want to give it... I, if, he, if Gyarados comes in, I have to just bite the bullet and go for... I'll leech it, because if this thing gets free set up off, we lose. Now, we do have Cloyster in the back of a focus sass to hold it off, which could be a nice trick. Although, I don't want to take get too frisky. Hmm. Although, now Cloyster is a pretty good wall for Gyarados, assuming no Power Whip. It probably has Power Whip. He has to have Power Whip. There's a Quagsire right there on my screen. His screen. Our screen. Hmm. No, I can't risk it. I need to go into Urshifu. I can't risk losing Eligoth. He's too- he's valuable. He's gonna sub up. Okay. That's fine. And he's Leftovers. This is his Leftovers user. There's the D-Gleam! Now I gotta predict here, and I'm pretty sure he knows. Does- he sub again. I think he's gonna sub again, predicting the switch. Yes! Wait, no, he nicknamed I'm a sheep. Did he predict his exact matchup? Oh my god, he read me before the game even started! Krim, if you're watching this, I appreciate it. I'm going Zeraora. He has to click at this time. Yeah, he clicks the gleam. Now. He's gonna go into Landorus here. And, uh, dang it, he went Capellion. Well, I'm gonna go into Quagsire here. Quagsire is. Is Quagsire safe? Cabalion, get a count, get a check for some grass moves. Nope, no grass moves at all. So I'm just gonna go in the Quagsire here, because I'm I'm safe to do so. I'm just gonna I'm free to click toxic here on whatever wants to come in. He can't stay in. 
he dies to a single Earth Power, and nothing on his team wants to get poisoned, so I'd say it's a pretty safe move. I could recover, though, everything else on his team. Uh, let me just check, just to be safe. Quagsire, there's no harm in playing it safe. Point stance. Even if he's choice banned, we can take hits. And I think he knows about the Toxic, whatever wants to switch in. Unless he's predicting me to Toxic. Because so far, he's proven he can read me. If he can predict exact matchups and call against Mew, I'm a Shifu. Because you are a Shifu. Mm hmm. Well, he doesn't know him specs yet, though. He's gonna... Oh, this is bad. That has to be adamant. That's an Axe Sack adamant. Okay, so Quagsire... 38%. It's a 40% chance... I'm gonna take it. I'm recovering. Yeah, he knows the odds aren't in his favor to kill. He'd be smart if he, if he... But if he... Does... How ripped? Do you think he's gonna be risky frisky and try and stay in, predicting us to Toxic again? If he does, then that would be funny, but I'm not risking that. Even if it's a safer Toxic, I don't want to risk Quagsire. Quagsire is valuable here. Ah, uh, he got the roll! You hate to see it. You hate to see that. Although, at this point... I'm gonna go into Zera Aura. I'm gonna Grass Knot. Actually, there's no way he stays in. If he predicts me to be Specs, then kudos to him. No one expects to spec Zera Aura. I think. Do they? Uh, I don't know meta games. I don't. I don't know Pokemon. We've established week three. I don't know how to play this game. Hmm. You know, I had to just fire off the button. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. This is bad. I think he's scarfed. He's gonna U turn. That's actually really bad, because I don't know this thing's set. I can, like, guess. How much does Gyarados Mega Gyarados Crunch do again? 30 with the Culver. It's pretty good. Plus one. And, oh my god. Zer Aura. My guy. This just made things ten times harder. Because now I'm going to have to play a guessing game. I'm going to T-Spike here. I'm going to T-Spike and whatever comes in, just blow up. At that point, I need to fish. I'm going fishing. It's, that's the only way I win this. Yeah, I'm just gonna blow up. If he wants to SD, then be my guest. He 
He's SD'ing. Well, we just lose. Yeah, I'd say we just lose. Thank you, Zero Aura, you worthless donkey! Uh, and the only way I can not get 6 0 by this thing is just to switch around. I know he's gonna SD again. Well. Okay, well, I'm just gonna threaten the kill with our Shifu here. I'm gonna bluff. That's the only way I'm winning this thing is by bluffing. Can you SD here? Can you just guess wrong? Or it, it, better idea, can you switch? Like that, I would make things way better right now. Ah, oh, he read. Well, that's another 5-0. But thankfully, Alakazam is here to help us. Alakazam will be joining the team. <gasps> yes, we lived! Galatil gets a kill! Let's go! Oh, it's only a 4-0. <laughs> ah, well, that was embarrassing. But that's okay, because after this week, Alakazam is joining the squad, replacing the Heligo. Because the Heligo, you ain't gonna pull your weight around here no more. But Alakazam is gonna put in the finest of hours. Nothing but the finest. See you guys week six. Bye-bye.